Hey everybody, this is Nicole Brewer with a Facebook report on Facebook. I'm actually working on a story that details one of the changes that Facebook is going to be rolling out in the next couple of weeks. You can see here on my computer screen, it's a preview of the timeline feature, which is essentially the new profile page that Facebook is going to be launching again in the next couple of weeks. Uh, but you can see you've got your cover here, your cover page. And then if I scroll down, you can see that they've sort of situated the information uh, a little bit differently. They've got two columns here and uh, everything is broken down into a chronological timeline of basically your life. I mean it starts with the most recent things and then from there it kind of breaks things up um, in terms of the most significant occurrences in your life. You can see September 2011 there and it'll go down um, from basically the time you were on Facebook. So I'm gonna have a report coming up at 6 o'clock that sort of details this new feature um, but also sort of gives you a heads up on what you need to do to make sure that certain things in your digital life aren't popping up um, and, and things that you don't want people to see aren't uh, becoming more visible. So now things are going to change with the privacy. Uh, you're still going to have everything intact, but there are going to be some things from your past that maybe you don't want creeping into your present. So we'll have more on that again coming up at 6 o'clock. We'll also have uh, a link to a technology blog that's offering up step-by-step -step instructions on how to get timeline in beta form before it even launches, and that's what I've done here. Uh, so we're going to post that to cbsphilly.com, and you want to go to the links and numbers section. But tune in at 6 for the full report, again, on Facebook's new timeline feature.